holy crap <laughs> this is my north bro look at that what is that this is north this is east Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X. Today is February 13, 2018. <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing right now because we got uh, five, what is it, five different locations with almost the same object, except I think maybe one. Uh, I don't know how much more to tell you guys, but I just need to let you. It just it just amuses me to know how much time we have to tell you guys, and no no one wants to pay attention to us. Well, let me explain to you guys a little something that was going on. What I'm trying to tell you guys, okay? This one right here. <laughs> let's go to the big screen first, right? Here. This one right here is not uh, our moon or sun, as you can tell. A reason why I'm letting let you guys know is because it's in between the clouds. Why aren't the clouds lit bright like the way these are in the back? With it was the cloud, or, or if it was the sun or moon, it's not lit. This isn't our object. This is an object that does not belong in our solar system. I mean, it does, but, you know, it doesn't belong in our atmosphere where we're supposed to be able to see it. Okay, this came from Louisiana. Thank you, Bet. This right here came from California. Thanks, Sal. Sal took this over, like, over here in California. He saw the same thing, too, as you can see out there. You know, it's not our, it's not our sun or moon. Don't care what anybody says. If it was all these light clouds right here, if it was right here, it would have been all lit up. If it was only this area, is because of what's hitting right here in the back of this light source of what's right here. That's why you're getting all that. This is not our sun or moon. This came from Texas Angie. I want to give a shout out to Angie. I mean, she went out there and taught us all this with her naked eye, and she took a picture with it. As you can see, it's not our uh, it's, it's not our sun or moon. I would have to be Koyar. This right here was in Canada, Alberta. And this right here was in Canada again. I'm trying to remember the name. I know it starts with a la, le, le, or la something. I don't want to butcher it. I can't say it. But they all came from uh, Canada, Canada, Texas, California, and Louisiana. I just want to give a shout out to all you guys. Now we're going to expand this one so we could go ahead and see all the rest of them, what I need to share with you guys. This came from Angie at the uh, UK. Thank you, Angie. Shout out. Love you, sweetie. Um, she's, uh, uh, she took this today, today in the morning. Actually, last night, she said it was uh, basically uh, still light right there where she was. And I kind of believe her because I got a video, uh, actually a video and a photo, and, um, yeah, photograph from the uh, Philippines. It's almost the same way, too. So let me show you guys right here. This is right here again. We, uh, again. And then this is out here in, in um, Massachusetts. Two light sources. And shout out to Kim. The other one was uh, Josie right here. I had to give a shout out to Josie, Massachusetts. Thanks, Josie. Um, this is Kim out there in Iowa. She's starting to learn how to... Um, use uh, what we consider refracting the lights uh, she's starting to learn how to about uh, bend the light look what she caught the hexagon with all these 
and you can see up here too hexagon still let's blow that up and take a look yeah you can see the hexagons how they're pointing down how we're seeing them right there not bad shout out shout out to you Kim out there in Iowa and here's Massachusetts again Josie I believe this was Cricket Cricket Lynn that took this if it was Cricket I want to give you a shout out no, I hope you didn't mind me snagging from you but this is what you took I believe this is a, a sun simulator and this is out there in the um, in the northwest northeast out there in the Philippines they said they saw these two light sources when the sun wasn't even supposed to be up yet so you guys tell me right there you know we've seen two lights that are not supposed to be up there and especially the people out there who know more or less when the lights supposed to be, when the sun comes up or not and this was taken I believe in the Philippines again too I'm sorry for that there's some photographs here that I have to blow up this was taken in Texas I believe this is your lens flare this was during um what day was it? I believe four days ago they took this during the sun when they were able to see the sun. This is the sun and they will be they believe this to be our object because this is our lens flare they said. Let's give a shout out to Bobby. Here it is again out there in um Philippines. Sorry for being so small. Here's a light right here when it was this is um during the east as it was going as it was still light, you know, like I think it was she said it was around ten o'clock, ten thirty close to 11 and the light was still on that's what you can see it's kind of weird what's happening out there in the world this was in the yeah make a shout out to Maria out there in the Philippines thank you girl if it wasn't for you I wouldn't get this photograph UK thanks Michelle she said this wasn't our moon or sun this was an object that just popped out out of nowhere and I believe her because this object does not look nothing nothing compared to our sun sun simulator that we're seeing or the moon has to be the object that we, that everyone's been capturing now I think it's starting to pronounce itself already and here again we're seeing that little object almost like that uh, brown dwarf right here this is an object right here too I want to give a shout out to Kimberly. Thank you. She saw she saw the same thing that we that I showed you guys earlier, but she saw these two other light sources there. That's what she said. It was. That's why she said she showed me right here what she did it and for me to show everybody. So I'm showing you guys. Here's the object. Object. You can see the object there. But when she did this, she was able to get it. Another shout out to Bobby. She said she took this a couple of days ago. She wanted to know what this red spot was. I told her I could probably be on a crater. And I asked her if that was her lens flare. She told me no. She said straight on she did not see this when she took a picture. But she said she saw this with the naked eye. Almost almost with the naked eye when she took it. Take a look at that ladies and gentlemen. Do you think that's a lens flare? I don't think so. Let's take a look at that. Wow that is red. Here we are again. Again with Angie. Out there in UK, UK. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Angie. Bet. This was out there in uh, Canada again. They said they saw the dragon, so they gave me a picture. They go, look, the dragon, and I thought that was funny, so I thought I'd share this with you guys. Another shout out to Angie out there in Texas. She says she saw the moon. Well, hold on, guys. Before we say anything, the moon. We're supposed to have like a crescent moon, a half moon. If this is our moon up here that we have, our crescent moon, what the heck is this right here? What is this? That's exactly what she told me. She wanted me to know. She was like, ask the subscribers, ask everybody out there, what is that? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I can tell you, it's an this, this object that does not belong. This is why they came trail so much at nighttime and during the moon. Here it is again, that ob one object. Here's the object again. Like I said, I got some photographs right here that they gave me. It's out here in the um, Philippines. Out here again in the Bobby out there in Texas. Here it is out there in uh, Bobby again out there in Texas. She saw this. And she saw this too. So she asked me if, she, if we think that that might be uh, a nemesis Nebru. I was like, I don't know. Where'd you, how'd you get that? Basically, she said it's kind of not a refraction, but she said it's something that just came up uh, when she kind of bent the light. But to me, that kind of looks like it's right there. But, you know, I wasn't there taking the photograph. Here's the object again. 
And we are back again. I don't have to tell you guys. It's all I know how to say is that we have objects in our sky that don't belong. And every time we try to pull something up there or do something, either we get told off, we get re or we get we call lies, frauds, or we get called uh, all kinds of things. Don't know what to tell you. So much evidence is still in a lot of people's faces, and they still call us names, put us down, and want to take our channels down just because we're spreading the truth. All I have to say is I care about all you guys. That's the only reason why I do this, because I love humanity. I love you guys. I want everybody to at least to, at least to survive. No one will perish. Basically, what I'm trying to do. Only doing what a right, what what a rightful human being will do for another human being. If you want someone that needs help, they'll help that human being out. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to do the best I can for you guys, so you guys, you know, understand what's coming in and what's coming out. 